Do you have a hot new business or an established business that offers great and unique services or products that you want to get the word out? Are you looking to grow your business and you want everyone to hear the buzz about it? Do you have an amazing project or an idea that impacts our community that you want to share or get others involved in? Then you've come to the right place. You're listening to Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and I want to share your passion while connecting with our community. So now, let's get ready to hear about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening on Community Connections with Norma G. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Good evening. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to Community Connections with Norma G. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and I'm also here this evening with my other host, Dominic Pampili. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much for being here. And you got it. I just, <laughs> I just want to just tell everyone that you can find us on Facebook Live at Community Connections with Norma G and at 95.3 FM and on your AM dial 1470 WNN. Now you have your iHeart app. You can also listen from anywhere in the country at um, WNN 1470 on your iHeart app. If you have any questions, you can also call in at 565 what is, no, it's 888-565-1470, 888-565-1470. And today, we're going to have a very, very relaxed conversation oh. about establishing the foundation of your fitness regimen. And Dominic, I, you know, we, you and I have been talking, sure. you know, a couple times this week, mm-hmm. and we know that everyone, as the new year turned, has all those resolutions. 2017, let's get back in shape. That's right. Let's get back in shape. And me as an occupational therapist and you as a physical therapist mm-hmm. and a certified strength. And I always get that word wrong. Certified strength and conditioning specialist. Certified strength and conditioning specialist. And mm-hmm. Dominic's been on the show now a couple times mm-hmm. and we've been collaborating together. And we really want to um, really uh, develop a show that has a very high quality, high elite educational component to it to your your fitness into your health sure and so what you know what have you been thinking about this whole experience of you know you and i coming together and wanting to great i mean it's it's can be we can empower individuals and educate them and really help so that we can go ahead and make a difference and we have we have the tools we can educate others and we can help make and change their life for the betterment then that's a good thing to do right and So. so with that thought in mind You know, you and I went back and forth about how to approach this topic of achieving your best you this year related to physical. And as we were talking about so many topics, you kept saying, no, we got to establish the foundation. We got to establish the foundation. And so that's what I want to talk about tonight related to everyone, either whether people are already have actively exercising or if they're starting something new, you know, what do you describe as the foundation? Because you yourself not only do you treat an um, Olympic athlete type of patients, but mm-hmm. you yourself are a, an elite al- athlete as well and in great condition. So what do, you, what, do you, what do you think is this the foundation that people need to be thinking about? Well, I think it, it comes down to really the objective they're looking to achieve initially. A lot of people come out of the gates 2017. They want to get back in shape, shed some weight, feel good and, and all that, which is great. The key thing I always advise people is before you're going to like your little battle, meaning you're going to go ahead and start stressing your system, you want to make sure your system is ready to handle the stress. Okay, so that's the key is getting ready to handle the stress. Right. So how do we get ready? How do we do this, Dominic? Well, the key thing is to start with some foundational movements, basic movements, again, that will be from top to bottom, bottom to top in where the individual starts creating some stabilization throughout their system. You can't just run into a gym, you know, grab some weights and start going crazy at it and try to burn thousands of calories because you want to shed some weight you ate too much over Christmas or New Year's. The key thing is establishing the foundation by strengthening the surrounding structures that attach to the joints. And they could be basic movements. And that's what I always suggest. We start small, go big. Because if we go in it like we're going to hit a home run right out of the gates, you're going to strike out. Okay. So, and then injury also results as well. And then we're, okay, we're out now three months because I injured myself and I'm getting even bigger, heavier, this right. and that. And then you get frustrated. And then frustrated. you end up coming to see us, you know, in the in the clinic. Right. You know, so how would you, you know, what's the first thing that you would approach as far as like waking up in the morning? You know, if someone says, okay, 
my New Year's resolution is I want to shed 10 pounds. I want to mm -hmm. shed 20 pounds. I'm just going to go to the gym. So right. I eat a banana on my way there and I drink a glass of water. I mean, is it as simple as that? Or, you know, what are your recommendations of your experience to get good, good results, high performance? Well, I think there's three key components. And it's going to be very, they can be basic and they can be very, very, you know, um, difficult for some people to achieve. But it's sleeping. Sleeping. Eating. And training. Okay. And when you miss one of those components, your kind of results won't be okay, maybe not the best. So you're saying a balance of those th three things, sleeping, yeah. eating, and training. Right. And what I mean that is is also, I'm not a big believer in diets myself. I'm being a big believer in making it a way of life. A lifestyle. Because if I do a diet, it's 2017, January, I'm going on a diet. Okay, well, that's great. But what are you going to do when you're off your diet? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you don't have to go on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet. It should become a way of life. Well, wh what I find is that when I work out more intensely, that my sleeping is, becomes a natural byproduct of improving. Mm -hmm. And that's because the energy that gets pulled out of your body in order to train, in order to burn that muscle fat um, and, and tear up those fibers in your body, that... You just, you just, you, you know, definitely fall asleep better and stay fall asleep because your body's going to naturally crave the regeneration that we get when we sleep. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, it almost like one thing solves another problem sometimes. Mm -hmm. So then the other part is energy. Correct. And that comes from food. Correct. And so what types of, um, how, you know, how do you really want to, in, you know, explain to people what types of foods they could be eating? Um, we have a, we have a caller on the phone. Okay. All right. So thank you. Um, how, how would you, what kind of foods do you think people should be eating in order to get that energy pre and post workout? Well, I'm not getting into too much specifics of food. I think the key thing is making stuff that is digestible for the individual for them to eat it. But again, I would say pre, pre workout, You'd want to take in some carbohydrates. Okay. And maybe a little bit of balance well, of protein. Why don't we as well. ask, uh, see what the caller you sure. know, has? So go ahead. We can turn the, call, put the caller in. Hello. Hello, caller. Hi, this Good is evening. Norma. Hi, Norma. My name is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for calling into the show today. Are you um, one of Hi, those? Hi, Lisa. Hi. How are you, Dominic? I'm good. How are you? Are you Great. one of those that has those New Year's resolutions um, out there on your list to um, get more fit? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm a nutritionist in the South Florida area. Okay. And um, my weight typically goes up and down 5, 10, 15 pounds every few months or so, depending on my physical activity. And um, I'm, I'll be 48 years old in March, so my metabolism has definitely shifted over the past few years. And uh, my question is, is are there any key principles that I can begin practicing to get me on my way for 2017? Yeah, and again, kind of, kind of what Norma and I just touched upon, key principles are going to be, again, making sure you are eating, number one, eating clean consistently and trying to stay on track um, with that clean, consistent eating. Because that's going to help to fuel your function, getting you to the gym, getting to, you know, exercise and expend those calories that are needed so you can shed the weight. But then also get you to the point where you can also sleep well, because what I don't know if a lot of people are aware of, sleeping is imperative for, the, you know, the release of your hormones. And also that's when we burn the most fat. So when they say when we were kids, make sure you get to bed, get your sleep get to sleep, get to sleep. It's imperative, especially when you do start to train and pick up your level of activity. And with our busy lifestyles and work and everything, it has to be one of those key facets. So I, I would okay. say really, if you can focus on eating clean, making sure you're eating consistently, that means from morning till the evening, probably degreasing your carbohydrates in the evening, drinking a lot of water and making sure that you're staying away from high sugars and things like that so that your body can work efficiently. Your body's a machine. And when you get to the gym, you're being effective in your workout and also getting your rest. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for the info. I well, appreciate thank you it. so much. We're going to continue. You know, stay, uh, stay, um, 
Stay listening because I want to continue to talk to Dominic about what eating clean means so that people can walk away from today's show uh, uh, with, you know, some examples of what eating clean me- means so that people can start doing that right yeah. away. So thank you so much, right. Lisa, for the call. And um, you have a great um, new year and good luck with your fitness program. Thank, thank you for you. calling, you Lisa. Well. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Norma. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. So we're going to go ahead and go to break. Okay. And thank you so much for, for listening to Community Connections with Norma Jima. We'll be right back. And I do want to talk about some examples, some tangible examples that you can take away from today's program. We'll be right back. Know your body. Gain control of your health. Transform your life. If your body could talk, what would it tell you? At DexaFit, we show you how to take control of your health and fitness to live a happier, more fulfilling life. Hormones, metabolic health, and cardio fitness all play a significant role in your energy levels, sleep quality, and overall well-being. With our proven methods of measure, track, and discover, we show you how your body composition, cardio fitness, and metabolic health compare to your optimal level. At DexaFit, our goal is to help you identify and understand the health and fitness of how to transform your body to meet your individual goals, break through your plateaus, and take the guesswork out. Improve your energy levels, sleep, and weight. Give us a call at 561-923-8833. We are conveniently located at 2499 Glades Road in Boca Raton. Schedule an appointment online at dexafit.com. Give us a call, 561-923-8833, and mention this ad for special pricing. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, please contact me, Norma Guerrero, at 954-802-2015. That's 954-802-2015. Times are tough, and right now those in the commercial world know that being heard via advertisements is the name of the game. AmpSquare.tv understands how important advertisement is and is proud to express that it's truly the only plugged-in internet television production company on the market. Amp2.tv live streams all their shows across all the major selling markets in the U.S. and abroad. Call them at 866-224-5424. The AmpSquare.tv library allows productions to be seen over and over again, making commercial platforms more usable. Call 866-224-5422. Toll free 866-224-5422. Amp2.tv, the first and only internet television network that's truly plugged in. 866-224-5422. That's A-M-P, the number two, dot TV. Thank you for listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We're the place where we talk about your business, a product, an idea, or a project, and get the word out to our community. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero. Today, we are sharing your passion while connecting with our community. Give us a call at 888-565-1470 and join our conversation. Don't forget to tune in every Monday night at 6.30 to join me, Norma G., and the guests to find out what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Now, let's rejoin Community Connections with Norma G. Welcome back to Community Connections with Norma G. and Dominic. And I, the way where we left off with how to establish your foundation with your exercise regimen for 2017 is three things. Eat clean, sleep, and train. So, Dominic. I, don't, I know that doesn't sound too specific, but... <laughs> We right, can. and so what I want to do is clarify that what is what does eat clean mean? I, because I think what it means is fueling your system with food that is going to number one work well, that's geared towards your objective. So let's say somebody wants to lose five to seven pounds. Okay, first seven pounds is all water. Number one, number two, the key thing. So key things. Let's get rid of sugars. Let's look at our sodium. Let's pick up our water intake. Maybe let's pick up some supplementation of our B vitamins. Those simple things will help you. Okay. 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 So simple things. Sugars are not going to be beneficial to you. No sugar. No. I'm not saying no, No, but I would would really limit it. Reduce the amount of sugar. So what do you eat before you work out? I personally like to take in a whey protein shake. Okay. Why whey? It assimilates into the bloodstream quickly. And what if you're kind of allergic to whey? There's plenty of options out there. Okay. There's egg. There's pea. There's soy, there's numerous types of protein, or there could be milk, or it doesn't have to be protein shake. Maybe you can take a bar, you can take some Ezekiel bread with some peanut butter. 
you know. And do you find yourself carving carving up before you work out or I more after? I won't carve up crazy. I'll do a little bit. Stuff that's going to break down, I you, probably about 45 minutes to an hour prior to, so it breaks down in my system and I can use a source. So that's key is 45 minutes to an hour because when people work out in the morning and I know that I struggle with that sometimes is that I don't give myself enough time for a little bit of that digestive part to happen and it hasn't fully done what it's supposed to say what's supposed to do like you say fuel up. Or if you work out right in the morning sometimes maybe you you want to put yourself at a calorie deficit. So the first law of thermodynamics is if you know you want to take in the calories and you want to make sure you expend them. So if I took in excess calories and then at the end of the day, when you expend those calories, that's how you tr- get a true weight loss. Okay. So it could be a plus or fi- minus 500 calories, something along those lines. But you can fuel up or not fuel up prior to the workout, but it can also be detrimental if you start to get in more of, of strength training. Okay. And those types of areas, because you are going to need that type of in- energy when you start stressing your system. So now you and I had discussed anaerobic versus aerobic. First mm-hmm. of all, what is that? What's the difference between those two things? Simply with and without oxygen. With and without oxygen. Okay. So anaerobic is strength training. Correct. And aerobic is cardio. Correct. And so do you find yourself eating things differently? With um, what, Do you eat different before whether you do it's a cardio day or whether it's a strength day? Personally, me, no. Okay. For some people, again, based upon how their body digests their food, it simulates into their system and how they can use their direct source of energy. For others, it may be different. Me, okay. personally, no. Um, I will stay a very, very diligent, regimented when it comes to that because I know what works for me. And that's something that I think along this process for people to get accustomed to what works for their body. Sure. Something may work for you, won't work for me and vice versa. So the, that's how we get towards our objective and being consistent with it. Okay. And so now we fueled up. You know, we've drank our water, mm-hmm. we've eaten a little bit clean, We've uh, whether you work out uh, in the morning, midday, or um, later mm-hmm. in the evening, everyone has different schedules. Mm-hmm. So now we get to the gym, and as, as therapists, we treat so many people with either injury or illness. Mm-hmm. And so it's so important to prevent injury in right. the gym. And so people that um, either aren't familiar, or they are familiar, but they want to kick it up a notch, mm-hmm. what are some... Um, prevention tips that you want to share basically today. it's it's creating stability around the joints and what does that mean is basic movements when we look at the lumbar spine the low back okay okay big muscles that attach to that the buttocks most powerful muscle in the human body i want to get a nice strong butt that's going to help me out in numerous ways muscles that attach to the knee and the hip the thighs hamstrings same thing there shoulders keep a nice strong upper back i always want a strong back Always. Low back, upper back. That's going to help out in numerous areas. Keeping simple movements and not getting too crazy out of the gates, especially if you're just starting out with a program, okay, and building strength around that area. It's like I tell people, building a house in South Florida, you have to build it in a concrete base. Sure. You can't put a second floor in and all the other concrete until you got the bottom. And that's the core. Meaning our abdominals. The core is one facet, absolutely. Okay. And how you build that is different for everybody. Simple basic movements of core is simply doing a plank. Doing a plank, starting off at 30 seconds, go to 45, a minute. Yes. Straight plank, side plank. Okay. You can see quickly how weak somebody's core is by just having them plank. You'll see a dip in their And button. what are common injuries that you find that yourself um, observing or that you yourself have experience mm-hmm. from working out in the gym? Common injuries? Yeah, that, you know, where you say, say, I see that person, they shouldn't be doing that. I see it myself when I'm mm-hmm. in the gym. I see, and I'm just like, well, see oh it. my goodness, sometimes it makes me nervous. That this is some of the things that I see. You'll see a lot of injuries to where people, uh, a good example is they're ending up mo- doing what we call a plyometric movement. They're jumping, they're doing explosive type of movement, but yet they haven't really built their foundation yet. So they're kind of running before they're walking. Okay. That's where I go back to the foundation. Let's build you up before we go to the plyometrics. Or say somebody is probably squatting a little bit too heavy for what their body is moving with good mechanics. Mm-hmm. Again, we always have to go back to movement and biomechanics as to how they're moving well enough. Um, I'm all for squatting. It's a great movement. I do it all day long. Uh, more people should do it, but do it properly. 
um, doing a lot so of... So do you mean the squatting where you're kind of just doing the weight over your shoulders and pushing up or more holding the dumbbells on the side and doing, be, you know, walking squats? It could be either. It could be either. The key thing is mechanically making sure that they have the proper biomechanics. All right. So when I think of gyms like from way back when, before the big explosion of all these other um, great, you know, uh, businesses around, you know, mm-hmm. around town and stuff. I think of okay, you have your quad sets, you do your knee extension, mm-hmm. you do a couple rows, you do a mm-hmm. couple chest presses, and you just do that circuit a few times, mm-hmm. and a couple bicep curls. Mm-hmm. Is that going to be enough? Again, what's your objective? Um, I, you know, I would say that it's. You know, most people want to tighten up their tummy. They want mm-hmm. to shed a few pounds and drop a size. I think that'll be good, probably for the first month. Your body okay. adapts quickly. That's like somebody saying, I go to the gym and I do cardio. And I say, okay, what do you do? I walk on the treadmill at 3.0 miles per hour and uh, 1.5% incline. How long have you been doing that, Norma? I've been doing it three months now. I'm not seeing any changes. I was like, well, guess what? After the first week, your body caught up. So you have to progress. It. And that's where people get injured is they either don't progress it or progress it too quickly. And they get frustrated because they don't know how to. How do you get injured from not progressing? Well, I didn't mean not the not progressing. Okay. I meant progressing too quickly. Okay. Progressing Going, too quickly. Okay. Just not, not doing it in an integrated control. And then they get frustrated because they don't get their outcomes or their objectives. So then do you recommend people getting, you know, having a trainer? I do. You I do? I do. I think it's very good to have a trainer, somebody that's skilled in that field. Mm-hmm. Okay. And or maybe if they have to go ahead and get a a trainer strength and conditioning coach some people will come to me and ask me what do you think about training i say definitely all day long get somebody because i don't want you just going into it blindly number one and then they be can become injured and then they're seeing me and i'm I'm more than happy to treat somebody that needs my service at the same token the key thing is is they shouldn't be getting injured so and you want them to make sure that they have the right support system and the right feedback person oversee Mm -hmm. their program well, you know, we've we've discussed this a little bit before that where I work, I work with a little bit elderly population mm-hmm. with 70, 80, and 90 year olds. And where you work, you, you see that age group, but you'll predominantly see a much younger group. And mm-hmm. so you can couple that strength and conditioning um, coaching skill set a little more aggressively in with your uh, physical therapy clients mm-hmm. um, because they can they can take it. But I can tell you guys something, whoever's listening to this or whoever knows someone who may be of an elderly age, 70, 80, or 90, that those, I have met 70 and 80, 90 year olds that have dedicated their life to exercising. Mm-hmm. And as a result, their ability to um, handle whatever ailment or injury that occurs to them, their ability to recuperate is a thousand times better. So that number one is really, it's the, be- a it's really the best medicine out there. It's a really important fact. But Also, it's very important um, to know who anyone out there who may feel discouraged thinking, you know, how do I motivate or, or, you know, this is just too difficult for me to do. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, I have seen it in so many people and I'm inspired every single day by 70, 80 and 90 year olds. It is incredible. The body, while you still have, we still have a pulse and while we're still, you Mm -hmm. know, breathing this air in your body has the ability to increase in strength. I see it all day long Mm -hmm. with people that are laid up in a total assist um, functional level. And the exercises that I do with them, although they may be one and two and three pound dumbbells, not 30, 40 and 50 pounds like those, um, like ourselves that we're lifting, you see improvement in strength. Speak for yourself. (laughs) You see improvement in strength and then you see improvement in function. Mm-hmm. And I find that when I personally am working out more, I find an improvement in my balance, mm-hmm. in my coordination, in my core, just the way that I sit upright. I don't slouch as much. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that, you know, because I am eating a little cleaner, uh, my, my just the, the systems of the body, the digestive systems, the cardiopulmonary systems, um, they just improve a lot better. And so um, because I see so much... Um, Injury and illness, Mm -hmm. it is still very inspirational to know that you can still improve even in a sick state. So just say to yourself, I want to be stronger and I want to see results and get together with people that Mm -hmm. are like-minded. Either find a gym near your home or find um, a friend, 
you know, and someone to collaborate with because I find that I do better when I'm with someone else, a little bit better than it depends on it. But I do kind of like, uh, you know, having kind of like um, a partner, yeah, a no, partner absolutely. in crime with the gym, and somebody you can, you know. You know they're going to be there. You're going to be there. I like make being the pushed. I, yeah. I like being yeah. pushed a little yeah. bit further. And that's the thing is that sometimes I just, you know, I'll let fatigue set in. And, and that's a, is sometimes you need that external push. Sure. And, um, so, yeah. you know, what else, Dominic? What um, what do you think? Or you, you know, why don't you ask me a question? Okay. What's your workout consist of, Norma? What's my workout consist of? Yeah. My workout consists of I will definitely do stretching. Okay. Because I like yoga and I like um, Pilates. Okay. And because I, I those tend are both to, great. I yoga tend and Pilates to, are great. I tend to have a lot of difficulty with um, some tightness in okay. my body. I'm not as flexible as I as I have always wanted to be. I strongly so, suggest yoga and Pilates. So right? I actually spend a lot of time um, setting up kind of like my own home mm -hmm. little exercise because I've been working a lot, so I haven't been able to get to the gym the way I want to. So. But because you've I been, am, you've been slacking, is what you're saying. Well, no, slacking okay. and getting to the gym, but oh, okay. not in my home. Okay. And I end up, I'm more of a late night kind of a person in terms of of working out. And so I had to create something in my home that I could go to, and that's mm -hmm. where I do do the planks. Okay. And I do do the stretching, mm -hmm. and I do do um, some weightlifting. So you're building in my home. your foundation at home. And that's where I, because I do a lot of lifting at work. Mm -hmm. um, and you know. Well, um, you know, we talk about injury um, in working out, but what about in injury? You know what? I think we're running out of time. Okay. We're going to have to continue next week. I didn't know that we were running out of time. So, hey, we're going to do this again. Dominic and I are going to continue to do health and wellness shows, and we're going to continue to talk about different things. And uh, use good body mechanics. That's my tip of the day. Make sure that your back is in alignment and that you're not using your back to lift. Bend with your knees. Yep. Have a great day, everybody. Have a See great you night. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Community Connections with Norma G. We'll be back next Monday at 630 with a new guest to share about what's hot, what's new, and what's happening in our community. Did you hear something you liked today on our show? Please contact me, Norma G, at 954-802-2015. I look forward to helping you expand your business, project, or idea, and connect with our community. That's 954-802-2015. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. 